Hello world, it's Andy, and today I want to talk to you guys about what movie theater employees wish they could say to the customer's face without getting fired. <laughs> so please subscribe down below, like the video, and stay tuned. difficult industries to work in are the retail industry and the food service industry. Now you combine those two to create the evil love child that is the movie theater industry and I just I can't even deal. I can't. Do not get me wrong. Working at a movie theater was fantastic. I got the free movies. I got the free popcorn and free drinks. But that did come with having to deal with the part of the population that should not be allowed outside of their homes. I like to call these people entitled customers. So picture this, you walk into the lobby, it's Friday night, it's really busy, there's like two movie premieres. You get up to the ticket attendant and you don't know what you wanna see. Really, you've spent what, five, maybe 10 minutes in this line and you still don't know what you wanna watch. Stop wasting my time. Stop wasting other customers' times that are behind you and get out of my line and out of my face until you figure out what you want to see. Oh, don't even get me started on R-rated movies. If I work at a movie, movie theater that says that you have to either be 17 or be accompanied by a parent or guardian, then you don't get to go in unless you qualify under one of those things. I do not care if your uncle is here and there's like, eight of you that are going to see it and four of you are underage. I really don't care because I'm not risking my job and my theater's ability to show R-rated movies just because you're either too young or you forgot your ID. I do not care if you have to walk 10 minutes to go find your car and get your ID. You don't have an ID, you do not get in. That is not my problem or fault. Moving on. Have you seen public bathrooms? Have you seen them? They are disgusting. Women's public bathrooms are even worse. Now add that on top of a movie premiere night and you get a disgustingly dirty bathroom that five minutes ago was pristinely clean because people leave their popcorn in there. They leave their drinks in there. And then women in general are just disgusting when it comes to bathrooms. The guys' bathrooms are cleaner than the women's bathrooms. There is something wrong, ladies, when the slobs of the world, I'm sorry guys, are cleaner in a bathroom than women are. There is something wrong. One of the biggest things that I dreaded when I was working at the movie theater was when kids' movies would premiere. For two reasons. The concession stand line and what the movie theater looks like after kids have been in it. Do parents no longer control their children and tell them not to make messes? I mean, seriously, do these parents allow them to trash their homes like this? When you walk out of a movie theater and you have bought six drinks and three tubs of popcorn, but you walk out of the theater and you don't have that trash to put in the bins with you, you, sit, you left it in there, really? Yes, it's my job to clean that, but it would make it easier for everyone if you would pick up your trash and put it in the trash can that is conveniently located next to the door as you exit. Common decency, people. Common decency. Now, do not even get me started about spoilers. What I cannot avoid is putting earplugs in my ears when I'm working. I say this because let's travel back a few years when the new Star Wars 7 was coming out. Oh, spoiler alert, just in case you are someone who has not watched the Star Wars Episode 7, stop listening right now. So it's hard to be a theater worker and avoiding spoilers. When people decide to talk about the movie that they just saw that just opened in front of everyone. It was Thursday night, pre-shows, and six members of the Usher cleaning crew walk into the theater where there are still people sitting in their chairs, watching the credits, and they blurt out, I cannot believe Han Solo died. Six lives, six lives ruined because 
pre-opening night, someone decides to tell them the biggest part of the movie. For a total of two weeks, we had to tell customers, please don't talk about the movie until you are completely out of the theater building so that you do not spoil the movie for customers and employees that have not seen it. Really? What's wrong with you? Shut your mouths, please. Popcorn. When you drowned the popcorn in butter, do you know how many calories you are consuming there? Not to mention the time that it takes to extra butter a popcorn. Do you comprehend that? On a premiere night, when there are 15 people behind you in that line waiting to get their stuff and go, really, you need extra, extra, extra butter on your popcorn. And that, does, that even, doesn't even scratch the surface of what I know some of my coworkers wish they could say. I mean, I had someone, I asked this and they're like, just get out, just get out. You're not gonna be nice, then get out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit subscribe and like this and stay tuned for my next video. Bye guys!